stakeholders in the real estate industry have called on government to improve access to funds as well as create an enabling environment for sustainable investments in the sector, going by the significant contribution of the sector's value chain to economic growth and development. Blessed Omonose reports. Nigeria, the acclaimed giants of Africa, has maintained its position as the country with the most real estate investment on the African continent for the past two decades and counting. This achievement is largely attributed to the country's growing population of 200 million people, a friendly business environment and a high return on investment. The sector, despite its huge prospect, is faced with numerous challenges which have had a negative impact on the country's real estate market. However, in a bid to provide sustainable solution to these challenges, real estate investors and stakeholders through the roundtable with Chudi gathered together to rub minds and chat a way forward. Look at the data. Um, the data is showing us that um, currently um, at the, G G G the real estate housing, the housing market or the mortgage market is currently between, to our GDP is between 0.5% and 5%. Um, and we are not doing so well in terms of what it's um, only 2% of our population are able to assess funding. The problem is not with the developers, the problem is that they don't have enough capital to get started. So we found out that a lot of people derail their vision, they go out of course, they are not able to pursue their concrete vision, or majorly because there is no fund to be able to pursue those dreams. These stakeholders also bear their minds on the overall performance of the sector in the past year and the expectations from governments. One of the things that we lack in this field is collaboration. So we're able to, we don't see ourselves as competition, we see ourselves as partners, we see ourselves as one family. So what I, get, what I, have, what I have, you might not have, so we try to ensure that we collaborate and work together. We need right policies, right policies, favorable policies for developers. It takes a lot for you to be a developer, that's number one. Number two, we need financing. I, I think um, right from federal government to state government, even to local government, they need to mandate the banking sectors. They need to ma ma mandate the financial housing or houses for them to be able to um, allocate certain amount or certain portion of financing into what every developer or the developer harms or housing developers are supposed to do. Given the significant contribution of the industry to the Nigerian economy, it is important for government and the financial sector to strengthen collaborations with key players to spur growth and increase the current level of investment in the real estate markets. Blessed Omanose, TVC News, Lagos.